My paranoia about everyday things has grown significantly bigger and larger with age. Um, about two days ago, I found like I have a scar on my left calf. So I'm going to put the picture here. And I kind of ignored it. But I, it felt like it felt painful, but not like, you know, like my thumb painful where it's just like, oh my God, it's like bone pain. Like this is bone pain if I, because I can't bend it and it's just painful. It's not that kind of pain. It's just like, you know, an open wound. Like if you have a, not a cyst pain, but like it, it's like when you have an open wound kind of pain. Um, and so I just ignored it thinking, oh, it's going to close up. The wound's going to close up and it's going to start scabbing. It didn't. So the picture that I had before was uh, I took today, this morning, and it was still an open wound. And my paranoia is basically going off the chart. It's like, oh my god, am I going to get sepsis from this? Am I like going to get chopped off? This is how you get gangrene. It's like weird. So I just turned on my TV for the first time in four days. So I didn't turn on my TV any time this week. I'm not really sure what to do with myself. It's only 10 o'clock in the morning. Usually I'm very lethargic. So I'm not sure why I'm not lethargic right now. I had a huge amount of sugar. Is that it? Because yesterday I had that Starbucks tiramisu coffee and that was sugar high. It was like 90% sugar. And I usually have hypothyroidism so I'm very lethargic. Even if I sleep 12 hours, 14 hours a day, I would still feel fatigued. But right now I am pretty alert. It's weird. Also, I band-aid my ulcer on my calf twice this is a uh, waterproof um, stripes on top of the band-aid so hopefully it heals up I know it's pretty much an overkill but I don't know also um, I am sleepy again <laughs> it was a temporary burst of energy this is the last <laughs> sandwich burger. So it last it lasted a week. So I made six. It lasted a week. I don't know when this contractor is gonna come and finish the job. I just don't like the idea that they can come at any minute. I, I don't feel prepared. January is such a weird month as well. It's like it's not officially the holiday season because the holiday season is officially over. But I feel like January is the hangover month. I decided to watch K drama. The, the that's what the noise is in the background. I'm watching um, marry my husband they have the webtoon and the webtoon is pretty good the webtoon is pretty short i think it's only 68 chapters it's very humid in sydney especially during summer these days i can tell with my body when it's over 80 degree when it's over 80 percent humidity level i can feel the air doesn't move it just stay like that and you're like swimming in water but like air the air is filled with so much water <laughs> humidity it's like thick the air doesn't feel like air anymore I hope I didn't get sick like what eating this like a week later should be okay, right? I heard pigeons flapping. I'm so sensitive. Like, I'm so conditioned by these pigeons. Every time 
I hear flaps like I would get up from the couch and just like look at the window so like to see if I need to spray water on them so that they get off like the railings thing on TikTok that was discussing about how Gen Z are buying silly things or like making big purchases to make to make themselves feel like they're an adult because they can't afford buying a house for themselves and I was thinking it's not only Gen Z I'm a millennial I'm 40 this year and that's absolutely how I feel like I want to buy this particular bag that costs almost $2,000 that probably gonna make me not go out, not eat anything fancy, just going to eat sandwiches for like six months. Just because I feel like at 40 years old, I have nothing to show that I'm an adult. I don't have authority. I don't have power I don't have any money I don't have anything and when I saw this so I saw this back before I saw that thing on TikTok and I was thinking to myself I'm gonna buy this because well I don't know if I'm gonna buy it I probably won't but I want to because I feel like at 40 I need something that signified my adulthood and I know like buying expensive stuff is not signifying you're an adult but in my brain I'm like if I have one designer handbag at least that will make me feel like I'm an adult a proper adult who's capable of buying something expensive something that a child could not buy for themselves and I know it's a sick it's a sick like mindset but I definitely understand how the Gen Z feels because I feel even though I'm a millennial I'm still incapable of having the milestones of being an adult remember the ramen that I ate a couple of days ago I still have the soup I'm gonna heat up the soup The thing is, I just like the ramen because it has MSG, so I like the taste, although it's not good for you. And I think this is a bit of uh, an overkill because I feel like, you know, even though I'm poor. <laughs> shouldn't be this poor that I have to reuse ramen soup but it's okay I like it and I have these which is uh, rice brisk mealy you could buy it from Mowgli's and it costs the supermarket costs about two dollars three dollars for ten so it has like ten noodles in there and I'm just gonna add it to that and hopefully it'll be alright. <laughs> Adding beef from yesterday. I think I still have two eggs from last week. 
12 batches so I made 12 eggs last week so this is two left oh no there's not much um, soup left kimchi and cucumber looks it's not it doesn't look better <laughs> anyway lunch Because spam calls. I've been getting spam calls. Spam bloody calls. Anyway, 